and welcome back to Latasha Hewitt Homes. On this channel, we talk about all things home. And today we're talking about replacing our refrigerator and getting everything organized, pretty much a refrigerator reset. Coming up next. All right, guys, today we bid adieu to our beloved refrigerator, the one that we have had since we moved into this home a little over five years ago. It all started with our beloved ice maker just kind of flooded. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't stop and was just draining water or ice, whichever one um, was on. And so we tried to get it repaired through our home warranty only to find out that some of the parts that were needed internally, like behind here, were no longer available. And so they decided they would go ahead and replace the whole refrigerator. So win for us, I guess. Took a little while, it was a little frustrating, but today the new refrigerator is to be delivered. So my job right now is to take everything from the freezer here, put it in our deep freezer, everything from the fridge. I'm just going to pack up into a cooler and move on to the deck um, until the new one is in place. And this is a great opportunity for me to organize and clean, which I had planned to do in the new year. But since I knew this was coming, I delayed it. So this is the old. Let's see what the new looks like. All right, so clean out the freezer portion. Here are all the items there. We're going to go ahead and do a nice little sort of the things that we no longer need or want to go into the new refrigerator and then put these in the deep freezer. Okay, now that we have put everything from the freezer into the deep freezer, it's time to take everything out of the refrigerator. And what I'm going to do is just use the ice from the freezer and put it at the bottom of this. gonna sit the stuff from the refrigerator in here and right on the deck and it's cool enough where I think everything will stay refrigerated okay the refrigerator is clear Oof. I'm glad I did not have to do that deep clean I plan to do this is one thing about this refrigerator reset is that this time I don't have to do the deep cleaning ah uh, yuck uh. Just can't wait to get the new one in and set up our new system. Here's everything from the fridge that will go on the deck. And these are all the containers from both the refrigerator and the freezer that we will clean out um, to create our new system and get back to having a nice, well-organized refrigerator. All right, guys, here's the food <laughs> sitting on the deck. And hopefully it'll only be out here for a couple of hours with that window when they arrive. And it'll go back in. But I definitely think it's cold enough out here, at least for right now. I was so happy when they finally arrived to take away our old refrigerator. Of course, they had to take the handles off and all of that. But then it was time for the new one to come inside. And I had built up so much anticipation, y'all. I was just like, it's finally here. Can't wait to have my eyes. I mean, I felt like a baby was being delivered to the house. So as the new fridge finally made its way into the house, it was right around this point when I realized something didn't look quite right on the refrigerator. It was missing the ice maker. No, it's the wrong one. Though it was a dream deferred, I made a call to Lowe's and within a few days they had yeah. come back to get the wrong refrigerator um, and we were able to use it for about almost a week, about six days and it worked well. It just wasn't the one we wanted and I was happy to see it go because it meant that very soon the new one would be arriving the same day. And sure enough, a few hours later, the new refrigerator was being offloaded from the truck and that excitement that I had just a week ago was back in place and this time I immediately checked to see if I saw the ice maker on the front and there it was ready to come into the house and go into its rightful spot. All right guys, so now let's take a closer look at the new refrigerator. This is the part that I've been waiting for the water curved and crushed ice. Hmm, you see a little something here. Oh, comes right off, I think. We'll wipe that down. All right, now inside. So we have the trays here, which is great. We have, I don't know, I, I'm trying to see how different this is, aside from being newer than our previous one. 
Um, the top shelf here, three shelves, the drawers. We have three of these now. I think in our other fridge, one of these had broken. So now we have actually more space to store. Um, these are clear, whereas the other ones were white. Um, we, all, we had this drawer before. We had these two drawers. Um, this was not on the other one, which has the fridge information and the freezer temperature and what everything is doing. That's kind of cool. I feel like that's easier. I think before it was outside over here, but now this is over here. Oh, cool. Um, the freezer. Oh, we have two trays for ice now. This looks bigger. This area looks bigger than our previous one. And then we have these deep um, bins down here, which we'll see how we're going to use the storage, um, the organization tools we had in our previous one. I'm excited. And here are some of those other details for you guys who like details. <laughs> but this is the estimated yearly energy cost. Not too bad. All right, I'm excited to wipe all of this down to start taking off the plastic and putting our refrigerator back together again, but in a more organized way. So then it was time for me to take all of this plastic off of the refrigerator. Now, I knew that there was plastic in there and tape and whatnot to keep everything in place as well as prevent it from getting scratched during delivery and whatnot. But guys, let me tell you, there was so much plastic in this thing. I feel like this took me like 20 minutes to get it all off and the tape and stuff was just like wedged in there. And just when you thought you were done, there was more tape and more plastic. And, whew, I mean, I don't think I've ever had to work so hard to use something that was brand new, but um, it was fun because I was so excited about being able to get the things back in the fridge that I just kept pulling and stacking and pulling and stacking that tape and that plastic until finally the refrigerator <laughs> was ready for a nice little cleaning. All right, guys, so now it's time to just wipe it down now that we've taken all the plastic off. One of the things I discovered that I didn't see before are these two little sections under here, which is so cool for storing little things. We did not have that before, so this is nice. Um, also, this was arranged a little differently. And I noticed too in the freezer that before we only had one little bin for the ice. Now we have two, so that's kind of cool. Um, and it just seems like more space in general. So I'm really excited about the new fridge and the goal is to just keep it clean and organized. Now it's time to give it a wipe down, which they recommend it we do. Next, we're gonna move to, um, oops, more plastic. I tell you, one thing I have to say is <laughs> they made sure that this thing was not uh, damaged in any way because plastic was everywhere on every side. Uh, I feel like I'll be cleaning off plastic for a while. But nevertheless, we're going to wipe it all down as they recommended. Um, and then we're going to drain two gallons of water um, from out of here. Two gallons of water. And then I think he said um, to do the ice as well a few times um, just to, you know, push everything through the system, make sure it's being filtered properly. And then we'll be ready to organize it and move the stuff back in. Let's do that now. to grab the groceries from outside and organize them in the fridge. Let's go.
okay guys we have everything from outside that was in the refrigerator it's nice and cold because the temperatures are pretty cool today um these are all of our storage or organizing bins that we washed um once we got rid of our other refrigerator and so we're going to see how we're going to utilize these i do think they really helped us keep things from kind of getting scattered in the fridge it also made cleaning easier because when there was like spills or other things it really just required us to take this out and wipe this down as opposed to the whole bottom um shelf of the fridge so we definitely want to keep these up um in our new fridge but maybe we'll try a different arrangement because for this fridge because we have so many different compartments now we may not need all of them but let's see how we make out so guys i'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do with these containers. One of the things I was realizing as I was trying to figure out where they went is that in the previous refrigerator, I guess the ice dispenser thing was on part of the top shelf. Um, and we didn't have a clear shelf across the top. So I was wondering why there seemed to be just so much space um, that I didn't remember prior but I finally figured it out. But still, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't remember what si sizes went where. So I was really just confused by that whole process, but we just decided to go for it. Okay guys, so I'm looking at all of the containers that I have left over that we used in the previous um, refrigerator and freezer. Oh, that's from the food store. Um, and there are four bins left that I don't even need. Um, as you can see in the freezer, I put one up here that makes it easier for like stacking, but you still have extra space. Um, I put one here that can also contain things here, still more space, but there's a lot of extra space here. Um, obviously, they'll, we'll be adding more groceries at some point, but there's so much more space. Um, I love this already. And in the refrigerator, uh, love the different sections here. Uh, put my husband's drinks up here. All of our like dressings, and since this is like a thin area back here, um, some lemon flavoring that fits nicely. Still have this space here. Not sure what to put there just yet, but on the other side, the perfect thing, guys. These condiments, especially the Chick Fil A sauce, which I love to eat with my Morning Star buffalo wings. Get with it. Um, so yeah, this is perfect for like those extra condiments. <laughs> and then here are the other condiments. And this section still have plenty of room here um, to add more things. I kind of made this the butter section here. Um, I always like to put the eggs here because it's a very shallow thing. And this is just a place where people won't knock it over. It's kind of safe under there. I like to keep drinks upright. So I just push this tray back. Um, and there's plenty of space to add like leftovers and the other things that we'll add, the other groceries we'll get later. I made this one, the vegetable drawer, made this one, the fruit drawer, uh, made this one kind of our yogurt 
area here. Um, this is the cheese tray. <laughs> um, and so pretty much if it fits in the container, I put it in there. Uh, and I'm kind of happy with this. I just feel like we have so much more space, even though, like I said, there's more groceries to come. And as we cook and put leftovers in there, we will fill some of this other space. But I really don't want it crowded because sometimes the more crowded it is, um, the dirtier it gets. But this is where we are for right now. Really love the fridge. I'll give you the details on um, the model and everything in case you're in the market for a new fridge. But I've always been um, a big fan of the Samsung brand. I really liked our other one. It's just that the uh, ice dispenser stopped working. So I really like this. Let me know what you think about my organization. Now I have all these extra bins that I don't need. Um, but I'm sure we'll find another space to organize some things over there. But this is where we are. Loving it. All right, guys, that wraps up our new refrigerator tour. Loving all the new space. Loving the fact that we have our water and ice dispenser back. And just can't wait to maximize this new fridge. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you. And don't forget, check out the description if you're interested in this particular model that we purchased from Lowe's. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.